All right, here we go. And we are live, folks. Welcome to the Sit Down Standard, the podcast celebrating all the amazing things you can do while sitting, whether it's enjoying movies, watching television, or playing games. I'm one of your hosts, David Bram, joined as always by Gerald Bales. Hi. And we have a special guest who was not always a special guest, but is again and now a special guest again. Jordan Peterson. I'd say special, maybe not guest. Mr. Jordan Peterson. To <laughs> Definitely you. special in my book. Yeah, All right, thanks, there you buddy. go. <laughs> he gets his own parking space That's right up right. at the front. That's right. His own bus, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you are listening to the audio version, what are you doing? Go to youtube.com slash standard. We do this whole production of filming ourselves Quote in front unquote, of a production. live audience. <laughs> yeah, the makeup itself takes like an hour, <laughs> so we need you to see us. Exactly. Need more. Um, but of course, you can listen to the, the podcast if you just want to do the audio thing, if you're in your car and you're in traffic, you know. We don't want you to get upset. Just calm down. It's okay. It's a little bit of traffic. It's going to be fine. But you can go to, what is it? iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, Google Play Store. And to all of our new subscribers, yeah, if you're listening, exactly. leave us a review. Yeah, let Five us stars. Let us, uh, leave a comment. Mm-hmm. We're doing like a, a society good deed because people are way too upset with the whole road rage thing. Do you guys get road rage? Well, no. The- all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally not that way. I'm just Not chill. like I'm, I'm going like- to follow you and beat the crap out of you road rage, but like... <laughs> you, scream, oh. you scream at them? Do you yeah. roll down the window? No, I feel like I that's when you cross the, the line. I don't roll down the window. I don't flip any fingers unless it's like really bad. I've done it before. But it's very rare I flipped, I flipped a bird. But I recently read an article about how the amount of happiness people gauge that they have in their life is also... Ba- it's There's a correlation between how long your... Uh, commute is to work so that like people who like dr- you used to live in california a lot of people well, drive like I, okay. hours right? i lived in corona inland empire and i worked in the city of orange that drive on the 91 if you drive on the 91 take you the 91 know, just kill yourself now <laughs> it was literally three hours a day how would you drive you take the 91 down to no it's just the 91 that's the problem david it's okay. just the 91 uh kill yourself because it's the worst or no. just move to orange county or just get a job in Inland Empire. Or, or just listen to all of our episodes. That's what I'm saying. I yeah, did fires. listen to a lot of podcasts. But I still wanted to kill myself. Honestly. People need to chill out, though. Just just hang out in the lane. Like, you're not doing anything. When are you going to get home and go sit on the couch? Is what you're gonna that do. was the problem. You get home, go to bed, immediately. See, here's, Eat, the, go to bed. Yeah. here's the weird you thing about Jordan that I know. Jordan is only happy in traffic. That's because true. this is the thing about Jordan. <laughs> Jordan doesn't like to be at the la- Like, when he's driving and he's not in traffic, he feels like he's... He's at the back of the pack, so he has to race to the front. (laughs) And then it's just a mouse chasing a wheel. I catch back up, and then if I get back to the front, I have to catch the next group of cars. (laughs) Uh, That's the only time I speed is when I'm in the front of the pack. When you're in that that opening in between the two groups, it feels like a race. You're like, I'm in first, and then you're like, oh, I got the next one. Back to last. Exactly. That's where I'm most comfortable. Exactly. Jordan's only only comfortable in last. Anyways, you can also send us an email if you want to catch up with us, ask us questions. Tell us why. Ask you... us anything. Yes. Um, again, it's called Ask Sit Down Standard. You get a $5 gift card to Steam, Starbucks, or Amazon. All you got to do is send us an email to sitdownstandard at gmail.com. We'll, we'll get you at the end. That's Don't okay. worry. We'll and get we're paying in. you to do it. Come on, people. Yeah. We we're desperate, in... please. Literally pay. Talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's start this week catching up with everybody and the same thing. Are you okay there over there? Yeah, I'm just trying just... to test my wife. Hot mic, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Anyways, uh, we'll catch up with everybody this week and what you doing. Oh, what you doing. What you doing. Ba-da-da. Oh, I saw that. I was like, yeah, does he? yeah, exactly. Trying to use my props. There you go, Jordan. Pierce. <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> special, not so special guest. What you doing? What, uh, what have I been doing? I, I I made the kids watch a new movie yesterday. You okay. made them, yeah. Well, because Tape their Frozen. Eyes open. <laughs> no, Frozen is the only thing they will watch. Um, but we watched a good dinosaur yesterday. Thanks to Gerald. It's an awesome server. Uh, his review. Legal? It was good. Server. Uh, the server was great. <laughs> no, no I meant s- his review. Remember did, back in the day, he was like, yeah. "It's got a dinosaur in it." Oh it's yeah, good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's, was it not good? No, Jordan? it's good. All right, thank you. <laughs> that was an accurate review. Yeah. To be honest, I'm yeah. not a very wordy person. It's not a fantastic movie. No, it's, it's a not. slow. It's slow. Amazingly, though, the girls kept their attention pretty well. They kind of fidgeted a little bit, but they stayed through almost the whole thing. But that's pretty good. Um, probably like over an hour of just of chilling and watching it. You get the Lion King vibe from it? Just the death of the parents. Everybody's parents Spoiler die. Alert. <laughs> Everyone's parents die. In these, uh, what is that about? That's I, the... That's the um, the Pixar tradition. I don't understand. Make That's you, a horrible tradition. Well, just love enough time to fall in love with a character and then just completely ax them within the first 15 minutes. I mean, that's really what it is. Yeah, I mean, it was a little longer. They kept him around a little bit longer, but <laughs> it was not. Yeah, he, he ended it Breaking pretty quick. with tradition. Yeah, it was kind of land before time-esque in that sense. Um, but yeah, no, it was good. The, obviously, it was just to point out their awesome new graphics, right? I mean, it was terrific. It's like photorealistic other than the dinosaurs, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was really cool. And then there was good action scenes 
scenes, they were speckled in, but they were just like, some of the scenes were so long. They were kind of emotional, Yeah, but it was just like, it. they really felt long. I was like amazed the kids were still looking at it. And then a couple of times they turned around like, dad, what's, <laughs> when are they going to break into song? <laughs> they couldn't figure out why there was no letting it go. Uh, <laughs> but overall though, I'd say it was a pretty good movie. Um, is, is there going to be, is there, because of Frozen, is there like a move to put music back into the Disney movies. I mean, I don't know if you know this, David, but Disney's been putting music in movies for a very long <laughs> no, 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 time. No, no, no. But they stopped. Was, but they stopped. Right. Not That's really. my point. Yes, they did. Yeah, really. No. They no, they still had them. They just weren't as good. But I think they really brought back that core format with Princess and the Frog, and they've been doing it ever since. Yeah, but there was a gap between Princess and the Frog yeah, and like was, everything else. No, was, I think you still had musicals. They were all just crappy direct. To okay, DVD Brother Bear or wasn't like. I'm just saying. Brother, Brother Bear, Bear didn't even have songs. See, that's think. what I'm thinking. I could no, probably name a bunch of movies. I'm sure they still did. It just wasn't as prevalent no. prevalent as it was before. Twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Lots of bets. Double or nothing. Exactly. I just lost twenty dollars. We'll talk about that in a yeah. second. Anything um, else? Um. What else? Oh, I found a new cool technology that I have to absolutely have. I I absolutely have to have. Okay. It. There's new earbuds coming out next year in May. Earpods. That, we were talked about this. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go, no. <laughs> they <laughs> listen to people talking in other languages and translate it into your ears. What? Well, do you what? have a lot of people talking to? And, the no, I don't. But okay. I'm making international friends, buddy. I don't care. <laughs> just to test it out. I told Laura. That's we're probably one sh- of the reasons you're not friends with people. <laughs> That's right. I said we're only shopping at the Mexican shopping places now. Like I, I'm going to just to use them. I got to go places that people speak other languages. I, I want can finally to use talk them. to my gardener. <laughs> what was? Old Wasn't Depot it? is going to be hanging out there. We're like, hey guys, What's hold on. What's I up? I know, that. right? <laughs> right. I was totally thinking that. You're going to hear them talk crap about you. <laughs> it's going to oh, be so awesome. Yeah, that's going to be. Yeah. The, but there was something in wait. Hitchhiker's Guide where you stuck like the worm in yeah, his ear and then he's yeah, like, yeah. hold on, it's initializing and then it came through. I think the big thing was in Star Trek. They had like the universal translator. Yeah. That's what everybody keeps saying this thing well, is. Well, the Google Translator app, I guess, is pretty good for that. Yeah, but it turns everything into like weird. Like you ever see them where they take like a, the sentence and they put it in like six back. different well, languages? It's not like then, the phrasing of it. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be like that at first anyway. But yeah. just the, idea the gist of it, of it. Is awesome, and then it's it syncs to a phone app, and so you can tell it what language. So I'm sure if you needed to, you could put them in their ear and have it go the See, other that, way around. That's, that's the other because you know it's funny about like here in here in the America, it's like if we if you don't speak the language, we'll just say it louder and slower as if that will somehow help you. It's like, I want a burrito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't no <nope>. simple. <laughs> I think though, hand gestures go a long way. Of course, if you could just kind of keep saying it over and over and point enough. I think they get it. No, absolutely. Get the gist. But I that's cool. I mean, how is it? Is the response time is like immediate? Or is it literally a few seconds delay? It can't be immediate. I don't know. I mean, it's not out yet to like try, but they had videos that look pretty pretty cool. No concept videos. Well, because you see like the uh, the UN people that have all the headsets and stuff like that, and there's like hundreds of them, and like they're probably like a little worried, right? They're like, oh god, the translators, oh, yeah. Yeah. interpreters. You know, I already because they make a ton of money. Like, I already yep. thought about it for work. I was already like, guess what, guys? <laughs> Hate to say it, you're fired. <laughs> Who's phased out next by robots? <laughs> you guys. Yeah, you thought you were gonna be okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no one will be safe. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So they're like they're only uh, two hundred. Well, they're two hundred bucks if you buy them now because it's like a Indiegogo thing. Oh, Kickstarter. Oh, God. Like, crowdfunding. Um, but What's it's already wrong? got like three. It's million. like vaporware, man. No, All that crap exists. Come on. I there's there's stuff that. What's the coming? percentage of cool stuff you see on there? Well, a lot of that board never games. makes it to market. A lot, a lot of board games are on there that make it to market. Like there was this. I saw this video about the this pebble? bracelet, and what it would do is project the image of your phone on your wrist, and then you can like tap your wrist. And they're like, no, we got it. We just need this money. It was backed, and nothing ever happened. Well, the, the problem is, is that there's a total. I mean, when you're a engineer, you're you know, you're not a PR, and you're not a you know business manager. There's different, you know. So it's when it's a small group of people, like they have to wear all the hats. And yeah. some of those people are excellent engineers and are terrible at money resources and things like you know managing money and finding out how to get the you know appropriate resources to the right people. That's Plus, wouldn't the really good ideas get bought by bigger people anyway? So like they may have started there and then they just well, might be too ambitious by something else. Yeah, too much of a risk. They've got like 3 million backers or 3 million dollars, I don't know, 3 million something. So, I don't know, it looks pretty cool and I'm excited, but yeah, it's only 300 bucks for the headsets once they come out. That's pretty pretty cheap to like eliminate a whole profession. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You were, you were worth 300 yeah. bucks. <laughs> See ya. 
<laughs> I'm just saying, pretty effective. <laughs> I could buy a lot of pairs for your salary. Just hand them out like candy. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man. Until it like says like the wrong thing and like causes like some kind of yeah, someone, international disaster. Right. And... Someone goes to prison. Exactly. Because <laughs> it didn't read the right thing. You it's said like, what? I killed her. No, I said I. Yeah. It says guilty. Guilty. That's all it says. It just reads back to the judge. Guilty. I was watching. Um, speaking of like crazy technology, they had the guy who wrote uh, Max Brooks. He's the one who wrote Zomb- or World War Z. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he's got a bunch of like zombie, like in case of a zombie apocalypse. He was on uh, Real Time with Bill Maher, and they, he was talking about like different threats. And he's like, "Well, I'm really worried about like these autonomous cars because like someone could hack into them and then like drive all of the cars off of a cliff or drive them into each other." And everyone's like, "Of course, the guy who wrote World War Z is like right. they're like we thought of this as, like a great technology, and you're like it's gonna kill us all." No, he wrote a book. Uh, I think it's like the Guide to or something like that, like how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. And it's all told like nonfiction. Oh yeah, it's like, like here are real occurrences <laughs> of zombies. And it's like. Is this real? Like, well, everybody's <laughs> had that moment. We had we we talked about it when we were in college. We're like, okay, zombies occur. This is our plan. Like we had, you know, like they're like, make sure you're prepared. Like we were like, okay, yeah, my prep plan is totally screwed up with James moving to Hawaii. Yeah, that didn't. I work can't out. get to him. <laughs> he was my he was my plan. Yeah, just get to the guy with the most guns. <laughs> yeah, I don't right. have a plan. I don't have any guns. I have some knives. I'm fat. As sh- I'm dead. <laughs> you got to work on your calisthenics. You see Zombie Land? Yeah, yeah. yeah like there rule number one. Oh, fat people get eaten <laughs> yeah, first. Yeah. Cardio. <laughs> um, the whole cars driving into the cliff. That was Adam Carolla's idea for a movie forever ago. It was Carmageddon. Carmageddon. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Running off into but the no, Grand Canyon. But no, he's like actually worried about it actually happening, which is kind of crazy because you... I think it's like OnStar can like tap into the car and like turn off the engine and like lock yeah. the doors like... No, it would be it stuff. would be a bad way to like uh, kidnap someone. I mean, like not a bad, a good way, but I mean, a bad for the people getting kidnapped. <laughs> I'm hacking this car. Send them to me. Yeah, just, just to let like, everyone know, we're not advocating you to kidnapping. Be like, I mean, you could steal high profile people pretty easily. You yeah, just, kinda, just drive them to you. Just, yeah, come on, this dark alley. You're like, why are we here, car? <laughs> why are we in a dark alley, <laughs> car? Get me out of here. <laughs> No, I don't think so, Bob. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how how this. Uh, what are they called? Do they have a name? They have to have a cool name for these little earpods. Ah, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not. I'm not details guy. That's yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Tran- we'll give it a name here. Translationer. Oh, wow, that's wow. The worst you really name. dug deep for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what know. does it do? It translates. It's a translator. Hey, that's what ah. we did with everything else. Is it toast stuff? It's called a toaster. No, it's got to be like I translator. Oh, that's true. You Throw an I, mean? I in it's front of it. It's got to have like a, a letter in front of it. E translator. There you go. E translator. E-trans- done. Done. And done. We are PR for them now. Anything else you got going on, buddy? Uh, have I talked about my volleyball skills? I don't think you've here? talked about it on the podcast. You like oh. to talk about it a lot. You no. are a... You are... I'm a, I'm a, I'm a captain or a coach of a I am, the ca- I am the captain I, now i think a captain is what they call me <laughs> um yeah you know i, I captain my own uh, volleyball team adult volleyball team i was like bucket list check <laughs> I always wanted to be a captain of adult volleyball uh, yeah team. you gotta gotta get that on your amateur when they yeah, really amateur. nominated D- you d-league d-league <laughs> we don't call it amateur <laughs> okay <laughs> so it's funny Sorry. that you have to say adult Whoa. adult volleyball well, like co- well, well, <laughs> i could be a coaching like eight-year-olds That's true. i'm not coaching true, true. eight-year-olds i'm, I'm I'm doing very poorly on my own volleyball team. <laughs> <laughs> What's your guys' record right now? Um, like, is it elite? Two kind of and well, yeah, but it cha- you know we do new seasons. Two. All the time. Hold on. What's the second or, number? No, two losses, and then we have like four wins. Oh, four that's pretty good. Four and two. It's not yeah. bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, we're not. We're not horrible. We're we're fourth, I think, out of eight though. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so why why the we were sudden, tied for second? Did you always like volleyball? Are you just no as friends a, from work invited me to go, and yeah. I never played volleyball ever, and I'm horrible. Well, we played. Have you ever like, played like a week every month in like gym or anything? Yeah, or PE, like you had the, but yeah. I wasn't that active in PE. I just kind of I just gotta do things to get like you were the kid that was like in the corner. It's like I trying like, to rotate the spike yeah. the ball. It's like no, you do. No, I didn't mind it. serving. I was serving, yeah, serving, so and like I can serve. Okay, I do the underhand serve most games that matter. Overhand serves that I know we're gonna win because like then I don't care okay. if I because yeah, the overhand one's you like hard, punch man. it yeah it's like a punch in yeah, the air yeah and it, I, I've gotten a lot better though. you gotta do like the Bruce Lee what like the, <laughs> right. like the actual bottom of the one wrist. girl on my team every time she does spike it she does this like hand rotation Ta! oh that's <laughs> awesome <laughs> <She> <laughs> <does>. <laughs> yeah we're gonna get style points here it's actually funny her brother is like a backup on our team and he's also a boxer. And he's gonna his um, Vargas Jesse Vargas, and he's actually fighting Pacquiao in November. What? Okay, I know. Like I you, didn't know either. You should be training in other ways. I know. 
<laughs> yeah, no, okay. So he came and played with us, and then he was. I was like, "Oh, what do you do?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm a boxer." And I was like, "I was like, oh no, I do a little boxing." Like, what are you doing here? Yeah, I mean, he just seems like a little kid to me. Like he's like 25 or something. And um, I was just like, "Oh, okay, yeah, boxer, whatever." Moving on. I don't watch boxing or care about boxing or anything. So I just assumed he's punching a bag at some. Yeah, place. he's some guy like, at a gym punching a bag. Yeah, right, like, I'm a radio broadcaster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> No, like, right. no, we all write our own <laughs> resume. Right, you know right. what I mean? So I'm like, right, moving on, right? And then, <laughs> and uh, his his sisters though on my team, and so then she was like, "Hey, Jesse got the fight," and I was like, "Cool, you know, well, whatever." And, some bumming some out, right, right, good and then job. She's like, "Oh yeah, he's fighting Pacquiao in November," and I was like. Like Pacquiao, Pacquiao. <laughs> I was like, or just like some guy named Pacquiao, yeah, or exactly. like the Pacquiao. And she's like, no, like the Pacquiao. And That's I was awesome. like, no way. That's cool. And so I looked it up, and I pulled him up, and he's like this big time boxer. Like I think he lost once out of like twenty seven game or games See, fights. If you whatever they are, pro over here. I'm clearly, I'm clearly big in the boxing scene. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. We, and he's like, and there's the picture of him face to face with Pacquiao. And I'm like, it's so crazy. That's like the kid that subs for me on my volleyball team. I was like, so I now you have him back. I'm gonna get his autograph or something, man. <laughs> I know, I had no idea. No, I'm going to the after party. I was like, yeah, I, I was for like, sure. They're like, we can get your seats. I was like, I'll buy tickets. I'm going to the after party. <laughs> I don't care uh, about that. Do you that. know how much those seats probably are, man? Come on, they're not that. They're probably they're not, not that. that bad. Pacquiao's in the well, not to I mean, not to hate on your friend, but I mean, he's probably in the later years of his career. Yeah, he's, he's not just, in his. I thought prime. he still was he's doing big. it for the money. Uh, no, well, he's big because of you he's know. still big time. I mean, it's still a big fight. It's especially where's he at if he wins. Probably. Um, no, I think it's a Thomas and Mac. Oh okay. Oh, that is small time. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's it's not it's not it's not his peak of his time, and it's after he retired and came back. But it's still ridiculous that he's back. fighting. But, yeah, he's Pacquiao. still one of the yeah. champs. It's still amazing. So um, that's awesome. They, yeah, I know, it's crazy. So my question, okay, with this with the volleyball thing, is it obviously it's a league? You guys play the same people over and over. Yeah. You were telling me some joke about how you always because you guys do paper rock scissor for determining. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So my trick is, and it worked all Pro. season last season. People figured it out at this season, so it's not working. It's very soft oh, well. <laughs> this season. But yeah, last season I always do paper. I mean, I always do rock, uh, scissors. Jeez, wow! See, Katie, you got I your own self right. psyched no, out. I know. So I to always determine do scissors, who goes first, right? but I always tell them before I do it. I go, I always pick scissors. <laughs> I pick scissors, and every time they would go paper, just assuming that I was going to go that you say something that different. Line, yeah. And every time I won, I won all <laughs> season long. This season I've been screwed up but because uh, they know my system. Yeah. But they know you're system. a liar. <laughs> no, they know I'm not lying. That's the trick. Uh, Don't lie. You no, just do true. what you say you're going to do. See, I'm an honest guy. What made you think but, otherwise, right? <laughs> it was pretty funny because my team was like, I can't believe that works. <laughs> Every, every, like every time, time it works yeah it's pretty awesome but yeah we play like the same there's eight teams and pretty much there's two new teams this time and two of the other teams have dropped off it just i mean they're occasionally people move in and out but basically it's the same people but so, it's fun we just all drink and play volleyball yeah as you say it's more of like a social thing right you, oh, yeah. is there people who take it too serious I'm, there's uh, always, always a couple, of, no, guy there's a couple teams yeah that super care about the rules but you know. losers <laughs> yeah, it's like it was on the line we enforce okay. the, we enforce the rules as like we see fit like <laughs> There's like a girl rule, like where you're if a, if you hit the ball more than two more than one person hits the ball, a girl has to touch it, like basically. So you so can't, can't just do guy guys guy back and forth. smash it. And um, the girls, give the girls a chance to. That's play. That's true. Yeah, I remember when we used to play like basketball at the at like uh, 24 hour fitness, like just for fun, and we would have like a whole group of people, and like it was always these two guys would be on the opposite team, never pass the ball to anybody else, and it's just like yeah, it's no like fun. come on, like we're it's not we're not on we're not playing for keeps, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's don't I take don't, it so seriously. Who cares? Like let let the person shoot the ball like i don't know so there's one team that has five girls and one guy and so they hard they enforce that rule like really hard because like yeah. they, they have they never have to worry about it right they, well that makes sense <laughs> so like they super enforce it that's messed up though i know like, I was the like, rule doesn't cheap. apply to you. i always tell them I, I consider us all equal so if you guys want to play like you're lesser <laughs> that's fine but i consider us equal of course uh but yesterday we were the ones that enforced the rule because the other team had like some super like good guys on their team yeah. and i was like no nah, we're playing that rule you know i'm not letting you guys <laughs> toss it up between each other so we enforce it as we see fit but yeah no it's a really good time we, we just do it every thursday i've been doing it since like march it's a pretty good time it ends though this is the last season at the end of october until following march so i just good. i just remember my my wrist just being like like we because for some reason i don't know why in pe they were like you know when's a good time to play volleyball 
in the cold. Yeah, right. Like when it, the ball is a rock. Like let's play that. And I just remember it hurting so bad. You'd I feel like, like those are the worst volleyballs. Too. Yeah, of course. Like, well, it's like, school provided. Right. I mean, come on. They're like stoneteen like, like on the edges and stone volleyballs. Yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. Stones. <laughs> yeah, they're super hard. I do remember those hurting. It doesn't hurt now. Yeah, yeah. They're like nice, good, yeah. solid volleyballs. Anyways, that's all I've been doing. So, Gerald, what you doing? Uh, a couple things this week. Uh, Obviously, if you're a true-blooded American, you watched the debate on Monday. 84 million people watched it. Uh